Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are starting something super exciting, exciting to me at least, because we are going to be rereading my favorite series, manga series, Pandora Hearts by Jun Mochizuki. I am so excited. If you've been following me on Instagram, I want to say last year, that's not last year, it was in 2022 when I read it. If you've been following me on Instagram back then, you've seen me freak out about Pandora Hearts as I was reading it. And I just really feel like I want to reread it. And I felt this way for a while now. And so I thought, why not reread it for a video? And here we are. I am making the video. This is going to be in parts, definitely, because Pandora Hearts is like 24 volumes or something. It's a lot of volumes and there's a lot going on. And I will for sure want to talk about certain things. And so we are gonna be making this in parts, probably four parts, I think. So this is going to be part one of me restarting the suffering that I have felt. <laughs> I love that series so, so much. And I am so excited to dive back into this world and possibly figure some things out as I'm reading again. Maybe understand things better than I did the first time that I've read it. Super, super stoked about this and super excited. I hope you are too. If you are, stick around for other parts as well. I'm gonna keep you updated. You're gonna see me read. You're gonna see me react, talk about all these things that are happening in Pandora. And there's a lot of things that have happened in there like so many and I'm ready to bawl my eyes out all over again because that is going to happen and I realize that I'm super excited and we're gonna start it today which is Tuesday. I have seen the anime, I have read the manga, I have read the light novels that have come out as well and I really really enjoyed those too. Just super excited to do it all over again and to see if I love the manga the same or even more we're gonna find out. I reached for it because of the case study of Vanitas, that is one thing that I can say. And Jun Machizuki is literally like a faith mangaka <laughs> to me. This is the intro and we are gonna get into reading soon. Expect updates, expect a lot of things happening. <laughs> Sorry for the noises. I'm making food so I need to be here around. I thought that I could do a little bit of like Saves from what I can remember. So, for my favorite characters, my faves were Gilbert, obviously. I loved Break a lot, and I also really enjoyed the character of Vincent. Even though, like, that is one of the characters that was the hardest one to get for me, and I don't think that I ever fully grasped what he's about. I feel like the, the light novels really help with that or rather one i think it was in the third one that he was there but yeah i feel like that one helped a little bit but he's still such a complex and hard to understand character that i don't feel like i've ever fully grasped what he's about and i'm really excited to see if this time i'm gonna un unwrap this character fully so that's those are my faves I know that I really like, didn't vibe with Oz's sister. What was her name? I didn't really vibe with her for some reason. I don't want to say that I didn't like the character, but I just, you know, I didn't vibe with them. With her. And oh my god, fave, another, Echo. I love Echo so much. And besides Echo, I also love Elliot and Leo. Oh my god. They were huge faves. Like, one thing this mangaka can do so well is just make these super fleshed out characters that you just cannot help but love. It's the most wonderful thing to read about, like I love them so much. I remember loving volume 10 a lot, volume 10, and I remember loving one chapter so much that I was literally like, I want this tattooed on my brain to remember it forever. <laughs> And I think I, I even know which scene I was talking about. Volume 10, definitely. I think there was one more that I really, really loved, but yeah, that. And I also just want to say that I will probably be talking pretty in-depth, so I will probably be talking about the plot 
as it is. I'm not gonna hide anything. I'm not gonna like, you know, do spoiler warnings or anything. So if you're watching this, you might want to be aware that I'm gonna be talking about everything and I'm not gonna shy away from spoiling stuff. So I loved it so much back when I read it. It was truly everything and I just, I hope that these feelings are just going to still be there <laughs> when I grab it and reread. It's still one of the series that I need to get physically, but I'm super excited to get it one day, hopefully. It's unfortunately, I think discontinued in Polish, so that's really sad, but I'm hoping to get my hands on it somehow, even on the English versions. That would be probably, I want to say better, I don't know if better, but it would be great to just get it. <laughs> it would be best to get it in the original, but I could not read that. Because I don't know Japanese. My goodness. Like, I love this so much. I remember reading it so clearly, as if it was literally, like, some time ago. Yeah, we're just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna keep you updated whenever I can, and that's what we're gonna do. So, welcome to the very long reading vlog of Pandora Hearts. sitting in the same spot where I just finished filming a video. I wanted to update you on the Pandora Hearts volume 1 that I have finished reading yesterday. And let me tell you, oh that is good. That was a ride. I, I felt pretty much the same way in the beginning. It's nice, but it's nothing special, I guess. Like, I obviously know what's gonna happen, so like that didn't bother me very much. So my hair is still kind of wet, so excuse that. <laughs> I feel like the moment that it got very hype for me is the moment when Oz was released from the abyss. Abyss? If I pronounce something wrong, sorry. Please don't kill me for it. <laughs> I feel like the moment that it, it got like so much better is then because there are characters that are not like kids anymore only <laughs> because Oz is still a kid and Alice is still a kid as well but the others are like grown-ups and we have like Raven who is my favorite character ever we have the break show up as well who's my another favorite character and the moment that they were in the picture like I was just so excited and just this volume just made me so happy to be like back in this world again 
I just cannot tell you how much I love this series and I just hope that I feel the same way about it as I used to or have even, you know, stronger emotions about it this time around. Like, I'm very excited to see if I'm gonna, like, find out something, something new or, like, if I'm gonna connect some dots that I haven't before. If there's things that I haven't caught the first time reading it and I'm gonna catch now. I'm super, super, super excited to see what I'm gonna think and to update you after every single volume. So this video is gonna have six volumes in it. Every single one will have six volumes, so there's gonna be four videos. I'm gonna look for my thoughts on the first one. I have read this on 28th of October 2022. My faith quote was, someone once said, place is engulfed in darkness. However, that does in no way mean that there was never any light. And that was in chapter one. And when I started reading it, yeah, like this quote hit again, just the same way. I love it so much because like in the end, like, this was a hint already. That's all I'm going to say. When I read that, I was like immediately brought back to the way that this manga ended, like the, the finishing volumes. And I was just like, oh my God, it's just so good. And another quote that I wrote in here is a fallen angel that will bring about distraction, but I don't have a name in here. Fallen angel that will bring about distraction. I think that was about us actually, because it's just so crazy to think about this right now, because I know so many things, but at the same time, like I was just super excited yesterday. I was just so hype already seeing my favorite characters. Because I know the way that this ends. I know like how many tears I have shed over this <laughs> as well. It's amazing, you know, like I really love how Mochizuki Jun actually crafts her stories, you know, how she manages to make these plots so twisted yet like so perfectly connected to each other. Like I just I love it so much and the complex characters. There are some that I still don't get to this very day and that's why I love the character <laughs> so much is because I can't understand it fully. I can't understand them and that's something that makes me crave more because I love the complexity of the character. So I'm excited to see if this time around I will maybe understand the character better but that's like in the later volumes actually. This volume was like a... I gave it a 3.5 star back then and I would still say that it's a 3.5 just because this is a like introduction. Like a part of me wants to up it to a four star because it made me so excited again. But I feel like that wouldn't be exactly fair because like as a reread, I guess that it, it could be a four star. But as like it, a volume of manga on its own, it's a 3.5, which is still a great rating in my book. So please don't like come for me. This is, this is very solid. It's a very cool plot and keeps you intrigued. Agree. Complex characters, love, and quite cute too. Agree. The story is great and keeps getting better. Agree. <laughs> I agree with my thoughts from back then. I feel like the one character that I had a little bit of like, nah, <laughs> with was Alice again. And I feel like I started liking her more as the story went on, but in the first volume, say, I wasn't really... I wasn't really vibing with her character, but that's because she's just like... She's very specific, I would say, you know? And I obviously, like, loved other characters, but yeah, she's... She's a very sassy girl, okay? Like, she's, she's very, like, independent, I would say, and she's just fighting for herself and for what she believes in and stuff like that. And I, I love that about her character, but it's also something that makes me a little bit in every book that I read when a character is like that. And I'm not sure why, because I enjoy characters like that. It's a little bit strange, and I realize that, but I do, I do adore her. It's just that in the beginning, I usually am just sort of like, nah. <laughs> That's the update for now. And I'm gonna update you whenever I'm done reading volume Two, which I'm super excited about because volume two cover is Raven. How do I show this without showing you? Can you see that? 
that break down there. I love them so much, my favorite characters ever. Like, this is one of the mangas I truly, truly want to own so much. Like, I want, I want to collect anything Wonder Are Hearts related. If I could, I really would. Like, I just, I want it so much. Because it's truly, truly my favorite manga. Right next to Jujutsu Kaisen and the case study of Vanitas. <laughs> but it's just, it's the first manga that I truly felt disconnected to and that really made me cry so much and love the characters so much and care for them to that point. And I just, I really want it. But at this very moment, the publishers here in Poland don't have Pandora hearts anymore so that they don't print them so I'm kind of doomed in that sense <laughs> which is very sad I've seen like some yeah I think it was a post from some from some publisher in the US I believe and they had like this entire Pandora hearts box and I sent it to my friend Jenny to show her because I was just like oh my god I want it and she's the same, like, we, we would both love to own that <laughs> so much because we just love the manga so much. We were freaking out about Pandora Hearts a lot together and now we're freaking out about Jujutsu Kaisen together. And I'm just, I cannot tell you how happy I am that, that I am a part of Bookstagram <laughs> community because the friends that I have made, the topics that we can talk about, like, the interests that we share and stuff like that. Just the best thing ever. Like, I am so glad that I have made these best friends there. And, like, I truly, truly love them so much. It's truly all about the community. Like, I cannot tell you how much fun I have getting to know new people. Whether that's, like, talking about books or talking about just life in general. Because usually, like, when you become friends with someone, you just sort of share a life at some point, right? And I do that with all of my best friends I have met on Bookstagram. And it's just, it's just incredible. I love them all so much. And I'm so glad that I get to share my thoughts with them. And <laughs> even if it's spoilers, like, I can, like, go around it and they're gonna listen to me yap about something and stuff like that. Or we can just, like, share life like if we're feeling bad we're there for each other and it's just it's the best i'm just so happy and i'm so happy that i'm reading pandora hearts again oh my god i'm so excited and i am actually so intrigued and so excited to see if i'm gonna cry at the same moment because that's like one thing that keeps on coming back to my head like is if i'm gonna feel the same way about the same moments if i'm gonna like, be as connected to the characters and to the story as I was the first time around, they're gonna affect me the same way. Because I, I think I would feel a little bit disappointed in myself if, like, my favorites would be going through something that, like, I remember what they are going through, but I'm not gonna spoil everything now. <laughs> I'm just gonna spoil things as volumes go on. But, like, I would feel a little bit disappointed if, I didn't cry at those moments. If there's a mangaka that can make me really cry and make me super emotional about things, it's Junma Shizuki. <laughs> Another thing is, I've said this to people in my life already, but it's sort of like, it's a little bit weird for me that we change the way that their names go. So I say Jun Mochizuki instead of Mochizuki Jun, which is the way that they will say it in Asia. And it's fine. You know, but it sort of <laughs> at times makes me confused, like which is the name, which is the last name, you know, as much as they're pen names. But yeah, how do you feel about that? Do you use last name, first name, or first name, last name? What do you prefer? Because if you prefer like last name, first name, I can totally start saying it like that. But at the same time, it, it just gets confusing, which is why I'm asking. Because I, like, at first <laughs> got into manga, like, I was a little bit confused at times because some people would be using it, like, last name, first name, and some first name, last name. And I was, like, very much just, I don't know which one is which <laughs> anymore. And sometimes, you know, some sound like just two names as well. So it's just very confusing. But... So you can let me know if you want to what you prefer, but 
that's gonna be that for this update it's already too long <laughs> also i'm working on a post for instagram of my like favorite anime of 2023 that i have seen that i have watched in 2023 and that have come out in 2023 so that video will also be up at some point i don't know if it's up by the time that this is out hopefully so i'm gonna leave like a card and a link in the description for that if you're interested because that's pretty fun if you ask me but yeah i'm gonna see you when i'm gonna get to volume two love you hello everybody funny story yesterday when i was sitting during my class i actually remember that i was supposed to say something when i was thinking about pandora hearts like randomly when i was doing something i don't know my brain was itching for whatever i wanted to say and i have no clue what it was but i think it was something to do with the characters i'm not exactly sure what it could have been which is very annoying but oh well <laughs> i guess that it wasn't that important since i forgot it right there is one thing that i wanted to say and that is in case I forget to mention this later on, but the characters in the manga look super super pretty already, but as the volumes go on, the manga gets even more crisp and pretty, and it's such an amazing thing to see how this manga has evolved and just how amazing it looks later on. You can especially see it when you look at the characters, which is really, really fun. Also, I did space buns today, just just because. I'm about to read volume two a little bit, so you're gonna see me do that. Yeah, I'm excited. Like, I'm really excited to see what I'm gonna think, like I said in the previous clip, probably. Oh my gosh, also, I just remembered that when I was reading Pandora Hearts, Midnight by Taylor Swift actually came out. And I remember reading it and the Great War was immediately my favorite song on the album and crazy, but The Great War I associate with Pandora Hearts and with Raven and Raven slash Gilbert which you don't know about yet, I already do because I've read it before <laughs> whenever I listen to the song I immediately think about Pandora Hearts and it's just like, I will never forget this manga. <laughs> and the song is still my top, top favorite. And, like, in my opinion, it really, really fits as well, which is crazy. And one line in High Infidelity actually also fits my opinion. And that's the... There's many different ways that you can kill the one you love. One of the ways is never loving them enough. I don't know why that line fits so well in my head to the story I'm just saying already just so you know <laughs> but whenever I'm reading this manga those are the songs that I think about we're gonna get to reading chapter 5 Doom This guy, Raven, my favorite character. His design is very pretty. I love him for his personality. He's just the best. Love him. And I just realized, because like when I was reading this, I just thought, oh yeah, I, I really do have like a type of character that I really, really like, like a specific one. And you may or may not know that my all-time favorite character is Fushiguro from Jujutsu Kaisen. I, I forgot about this, but Alice calls Raven here seaweed head. She does that all the time, right? And people <laughs> call Fushiguro sea urchin head. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know why it made me laugh, but it's just so funny. I really like, I really do like one certain type of character. I just 
I do. Confirm. <laughs> I already know this, you're going to find out, but the song that is playing um, from the watch that he found is called Lazy. Lazy, right? And now one, that was way less exciting then. <laughs> that was way less excited than I thought that would be. But yeah, uh, whenever I think about Pandora Hearts, the song actually kind of rings in my head. I can't remember exactly how it sounded in the anime. But I remember they really liked it. I just really love the fact that the song that was playing on this in this watch was actually called Lazy. And second thing, Olivia Rodrigo's song, Lazy. Every single time that I listen to that song, I also am reminded of Pandora Hearts because Lazy. <laughs> and yeah, I just I really, really love the way that the plot revolved around this one song for this pocket watch. Like, I don't know, there's just something about it that like really hits for me. I think that's that's the thing that I wanted to say actually about this watch that Oz is currently owning. This is such a good story, like I I already can feel all like a lot of feels. <laughs> that's that's I think what I wanted to say. Oh, there's a clock there. <laughs> um, am I just gonna be a freaking mess when I read this? Possibly. I possibly will be. But yeah, I just, I really love that. And I love that it's just lazy. I really, I realized I really love the name. So, there's also that. Ah, <laughs> oh, and break. Oh my god, I love him so much. I didn't realize this before, but he is very much Gojo coded. Very much Gojo coded. And like it's it's the personality traits, like certain ones. I, I would even say that they're pretty close in personality. It's just that like Break is also super strong, but he's not like the strongest, you know? When I was reading the first volume, I was like I just looked at him and I was like, oh my god. Like, I didn't realize that before. I didn't realize it when I was reading Jujutsu Kaisen or watching it. Because at first, like, Gojo wasn't my favorite. <laughs> I loved him, but he wasn't, like, my favorite character. It was always Fushiguro. But now that I'm reading Pandora again, like, I can see that Break and Gojo have a lot of traits in common. And, like, it was inevitable that I would have loved Gojo. Because I was the same with Break. Like, I liked him, but like that only got deeper gradually as I went on with the manga. So yeah, I'm just whenever I see him, <laughs> I love him so much. I really want to own this manga so badly. <sighs> oh my god, I'm gonna be hanging my tablet a lot because I know like the things that are happening. I know what like the moments when I'm gonna be hyped and stuff. Oh, oh. So excited. It reminds me of Ayazawa's art style in Paradise Kiss and Nana. Like the faces at times. I don't know if you can see, but this one, for example, there was one of Raven as well. 
yeah here this one of ravens as well This is already hinting at the ending. Like, if you keep looking for the truth, there may be a way to save yourself. And third, if you find the answer to that question, that is to the truth, because he's looking for the truth, if he finds an answer for that, Perhaps things would work, and everybody know. Oh my god, this this is so good. Oh, I love break so much. This is break saying you. That which ultimately remains may not be hope. <sighs> Damn. Very nice. Thank you very much. This is so good. I love it. But all this time, and I've only read one chapter, so... <laughs> oh my god, I just realized that he said that, that Break said that that which ultimately remains may not be hope. He said that because that's what was left, or what was said to be left in Pandora box, wasn't it? It's connected to Pandora box. Oh my god. Oh my god! That just clicked for me. Oh my goodness. Also, there was one character, Dway, in the first volume, and she has this dolly thing that's sort of like her power. She can make people puppets, basically, that sort of thing. And like, it was so crazy to see that, but I still sort of remember. <laughs> I remember this character and I remember the Doldy thing and it's just, it's crazy. It's so crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, because Dway is, Dway is another character as well. <laughs> the way everything is clicking again. Oh my god, I'm so excited. That's all. <laughs> Guys, my heart. Oh my god. <laughs> Little Gilbert. Just look at him. Oh, <laughs> look at this little. <sighs> I love it so much. Also, I just realized I'm gonna talk, and you're gonna look at this. <laughs> like no one's said anything to us about the fact that it's been years since he got sucked into the abyss, and so he came out, and he thinks that this very moment right here happened five years ago that's because his age did not change so he's still 15 but everybody else aged because the time in the abyss just i guess doesn't really pass <sighs> so cute oh <laughs> guys i could literally show you the entire manga like this <laughs> oh i love it so much i love them so much the <sighs> The best characters ever. Just look how pretty. Oh, just so nice. Oh, I love it so much. The art. This is huge. Oh my god.
Hello everyone. So I finished volume two today and only now have a minute to actually sit and talk about what I think about volume two of Pandora Hearts. Things got a little bit hectic. I am doing my course homeworks and I always underestimate how much time they are going to take. They take a lot of time and also, do you know, like sometimes you just have those days where the time is flowing and you really don't know what you've done. And that's one of those days for me <laughs> today. It's Saturday. I just like, I don't know. I feel like I haven't done a thing and time just like flew. I don't know what happened. And I was reading and I feel like I was reading for ages, even though I had like two or three chapters to read. How many is that? But five, six, seven, eight, nine, five chapters five chapters in the entire thing so i've read like three yeah i've read like three chapters <laughs> and i feel like that took forever and i do take forever with reading manga but like oh my goodness yeah anyway it's been one of those kind of days and i was supposed to be editing as well which did not happen at all the priority for me right now is just doing the homeworks because I have a deadline and everything and it's just, you know, something that I have to do because that's what's gonna give me a job. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just a preface, but like, gosh, it's been one of those days. I'm just sitting down right now because I'm gonna finish like one thing on there and do a workout and stuff like that. So I thought that I would update you before go and do those things i can't wait to get to the <laughs> to the third volume i'm already so freaking excited like i'm so excited every single freaking time that i read a page it's just insane like insane and i feel like i even love the characters so much more now like i just i see break and break is one of my faves as you know already i see him and just seeing like his reactions, his his like grins and everything and like the way that he interacts with all us and stuff like that. And I just like freak out inside. Just freaking out because he just I, I just I don't know. He's so gojo coded to me. <laughs> I love him so much. And I did not get this reference when I was reading like Jujutsu Kaisen. But I get this reference when I'm reading Pandora right now because I think Jujutsu is just fresh in my head and that's why but like I, I read break and I feel like him and Gojo have so much in common I I am just freaking out I love break so much cried over this guy okay and I just I love him so much and I have the same thing when I see Raven which in volume 2 you'll find out that he's Gilbert obviously and I actually was wondering if I knew, like the first time that I've read it, if it clicked for Oh no, wait, I think I've seen the anime first. If I've seen the anime first, then obviously I knew that Raven was Gilbert. So yeah, anyway, I just, I, I adore Gilbert so much as well. He, he's just like my favorite, favorite, favorite person. I love him so much. Oh my God. Oh, still a four star. But I feel like because this is a reread, like my emotions come into play a lot and I would give it like even higher. Like I would give it like a 4.5 just because I was freaking out so much when reading this. But like objectively, it's a four star. I love this series so much and I'm just so, so happy that this is still confirming. Because I was like, a part of me I guess was a little bit afraid that this like would backfire on me and I wouldn't enjoy this story as much but I'm enjoying it so much oh my god I love it so much I really want to own this entire manga like I would have it on display I love it so much oh let's get to this what I've written in my little journal old journal lots and quotes here little Gilbert was so cute and I love Raven yes <laughs> I completely agree. Like I, oh, I love the scenes that were that they were showing of Gil when he was little, uh, and I still find it so interesting that 
he was without memories. It's kind of crazy to me that, that he like, you know, showed up there. <laughs> but there's one more thing and that's I really loved Raven when he was a little bit like, how should I put it? When he was keeping to himself more because he didn't want Oz to know that he's Gil. The moment that Oz knows, Gilbert kind of goes back to being his old self, which is a little bit like, I don't want to say wimpy, but he's, he, he's more like submissive, let's say. Is that the right word to use? I don't know. But that, that sort of thing, because he's, he's a valet to, or a servant, however you want to call it, to Oz, right? Even though that he's now a knight, right? So he's from one of the biggest dukedoms as well. So, you know, he's part of that family. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I kind of loved it when he was more like independent and he was a little bit more like reserved. I don't know, but, but he was like super, super cool anyway. I love the fact that he is like the way that he is, that he's so emotional and he cares for people so much. And when he makes promises, he intends to keep them does everything he can to keep them. And also, Echo finally showed up, oh my god, at the end, I believe, of this volume. And if you know, you know, because that's gonna be crazy. We don't know that it's Echo just yet, but, like, we're gonna find out. I believe in the next volume, so I'm already saying it. I love Echo so much. At some point, like, she also became my favorite character. And one of the reasons that I also love her, also because she's just very complicated, like everybody else in this universe is there's a complex complicated character like they're gonna be that time stand like vincent and echo are for some reason like pretty freaking hard for me to understand and that's exactly the reason that i love them so much as well so yeah that see that i have a quote here then the two of you will continue to bloom within me which host club did you get that line from <laughs> Do I remember? Which scene was that? Ah, yeah, I, I think this was when this girl gave us the flower and he gave it back to her. I think that was the scene. It's another quote that I have here. I heard this saying when I was little. People are always concealing lies. Yeah, the people here are good examples. You're all hiding a lot more from me than she is. That she is Alice. And this was us. And Break talking actually because Break said that he that us shouldn't trust Alice as much and there's a continuation that kind of person can't easily be trusted. Yeah. They also oh my god I love this scene where Break came up to Oz and was like like looking at him being like Oz where are you I was just like oh my god I remember being so confused like what does he mean where he is and it's. Like, I think that even though I finished the series, I was still a little bit confused, like, what he meant. But I think, I think I know what he meant. Because Oz has this very weird attitude where he accepts everything as it comes. And he's just, like, happy-go-lucky, bottling up a lot of feelings instead of, like, dealing with them, you know? He, like, hides everything behind a smile because he thinks that he's got to be strong for everybody else around. It's a little bit annoying, to be honest with you, at times, because he's just like, it just feels like he doesn't care enough about the things that are happening, you know? And he's like accepting every single thing, no matter how bad it is as well. And that's just so strange, isn't it? So those are the only things I have written in here because I guess I left too little space perhaps or something, I don't know. I will get back to you whenever I'm done with volume 3. Volume 2 was very good and I'm excited. Awesome. Okay, we'll see you soon. I just remembered that there is one more thing that I really loved and that's when Gil is talking to Oz when they are little and Gil says that he knows the darkness in his heart, that they are bound by their shadows, not the light. And for some reason, that hits so hard. That's that line, like, I love it so much. For some reason, like, I don't really know why, 
but I am obsessed with anything that has to do with shadows. If you haven't noticed yet, I eat everything up that is to do with shadows. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I truly, really don't know why. Like, talking about shadows, about light, about, like, these deep things that they are connected, the, the shadows, and that, like, you know, they know all the weaknesses and, like, the darkness in each other. And it's just... Huh? <sighs> so good. Oh, my God. Really, bye. Hello, everyone. I'm currently reading Volume 3. I'm actually pretty busy recently, so I have a lot of time to actually read. So I'm taking a moment, like, whenever I can at night or getting to, like, the actual things that I need to be doing. But a thing even popped in my eye recently. You probably can see it, but I could see it. <laughs> it's really night, like, I noticed. And it popped, like, vertically, which is so strange. I was wondering if I'm going to miss something like this time around when I'm reading because I feel like the characters are so complex that at times you really like you think you understand but you may not actually. I'm sort of I'm sort of wondering if I'm gonna like get odds this time because I feel like I feel like there were certain things that I did understand the first time and I didn't and I'm curious if I'm gonna like perhaps notice things that I haven't before and I kind of understand his character better. So far, like, you know, the thing that Brake said about like asking him that, like, where are you right now, Oz, and Brake saying that he's a freaky kid and everything, that Oz is a freaky kid, pointing me towards like the same thing as I felt like the first time that I don't like really get it at first, but I think that, like, Oz is just so deeply hurt that he's got these, like, father issues. And he's got, like, some sort of trauma that is unresolved in that sense. And he, like, as much as his sort of, like, motto is to accept everything as it comes, he's doing that to a very freaky level. Like, there's something about that in his character that, like, makes it a little bit hard for me to think that I actually understand his character like he should be understood. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Reading chapter 10 in volume 3. So I'm gonna try to update you soon enough again. Hello everyone. I think it's been a few days since you've seen me last? Or rather since, <laughs> since I've been talking to you about Pandora Hearts. We haven't really had time to read much, so I'm currently in chapter 13. Oh, this is a little bit orange, but that's because blue light block is on. Back to reading right now. So I will hopefully finish volume three. There's two chapters to read, so you're gonna see me do that. It's Friday as I'm filming this. We're gonna dive into this and see what I think about the volume now versus what I thought about the volume back then. So I think I think I updated you after I have read the two chapters, I believe. It's pretty hype. Like I'm just I'm just hyped up all the freaking time. So I'm really excited and I'm gonna get to reading now so that I can talk to you today. Let's get to this. I just want to say that I really loved Junma Shizuki's art style in Pandora, but it's like also you can see as the volumes go on that her art like has gotten so much better at some point, but it's been so good since the very beginning. I just love it so much. That's why I think you should take your time while reading manga because like we need to appreciate this. It's so wonderful. Like, I wish, I wish I could draw like that, you know? Can you even see that there? Like, I wish. I don't know if 
I've said this. I really can't remember what I talked to you about at this point. But Vincent showed up. He just did something. <laughs> of course. But I just, I can already feel the excitement of getting to know Vincent all over again. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Why is that so exciting to me? Oh my god, I'm just like... <sighs> and Vincent saying, because Vincent is like a simp for his brother. To say that in short, there's obviously reasons why he's acting like that towards his brother, but he's just like doing things for Gilbert very easily. And he will do those things only for him. So there's like anything Gil asks, Vincent is going to do. And there's a reason for that, obviously. But that also, it was a little bit hard for me to understand the first time. So I'm hoping that I'm going to understand this even better this time when I read. Because like the, the reasons and like Vincent's character is just very complex. So I'd be happy to do anything you ask of me. To Vincent, to Gil. creepy panel and Echo's face in this one is just so funny you can see their affection but <laughs> tell me that this isn't Gojo <laughs> Okay, but isn't this, like, this scene here, isn't this thing later on when Raven is going to show stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I believe that's in volume 10, which is why it's my favorite. I think it's in volume 10. And he says something like, I am his left eye. Because Break doesn't have his left eye and like Gilbert steps in in the scene and he's like I'm his left eye this was it that? I don't know I'm like speculating right now I can't remember exactly but I'm thinking that that might be it oh, so good which is why like this is this what, what is said is like a flashback but this is from the current time, so, and he's like hiding his eye, so, I just think that that's what it is. <laughs> but it's said right here that it, <sighs> Gilbert has Raven, the chain, which is why his like name is also Raven. Love it. I just love it. Look at this Gilbert. <laughs> I love him so much. This is very much Gojo and Megumi. <laughs> because Break found Gilbert and he kind of recruited him. Like, it's, it's, it's the same. <laughs> Why do I love these sort of relationships? Oh my goodness.
This is also the story of Vincent. Oh my god. Oh. He said it. He said it. I would like you to act as my eye. And then Gilbert is going to come in for the next break. It's going to be on his last act. <laughs> Can I trust in your words? It doesn't matter. You don't need to trust me. Just use me. After all, I'm trying to do the same to you. M break just spitting facts. <laughs> psychotic that he's mental he's crazy and his room was full of cut up dolls and he still does that as a grown-up like that was one crazy thing that I couldn't figure out as well like, I wish they were just cute brothers but they're not <laughs> and created an organization known as Pandora to investigate the abyss to manage the illegal contractors and to keep an eye on the other families. Oh yeah, this is Raven. That was crazy. Your usefulness increased by a lot. Royal heart that has been sealed off will become a plague. And someday it may just pierce for your precious person. Gilbert was a teenager when he obtained Raven, but I think that at the point that we're in this story he's like 20 something years old it's been 10 years right and i think he was younger than oz when oz was 15 younger than oz i don't know oz was 15 when this stuff happened and 10 years have passed so that would make gilbert like 24 25 if he was the same age i'm not sure so much i love it so much okay that volume is finished so that's great okay so i have my reading journal right here and i need to flip to volume three yeah so okay my thoughts right now i think i gave this volume a four star and i would send oh, i think there's a rating right here. Jeez. <laughs> I stand by that. I definitely think that it's still a four star. Well, that was weird. Jesus. I really enjoyed it. Like, I love the, like, the way that we are finding out about the dukedoms, about the characters, like, their past memories, that they have problems with their memories, and stuff like that. I really really enjoy this aspect and I I think I enjoy it even more right now because I'm trying to like see and catch on to anything that I haven't caught on to the first time. I definitely enjoyed it. I cannot wait for the next volume because it's just it just keeps on getting better and I'm getting flashbacks to the anime as well. So that's really fun and to the first time that I've you know read this as well 
if I could have manga physically, I would definitely get like volume two and volume three covers on display. Like, <laughs> I love them so much. Anyway, what did I write in here? I adore Raven and Break. Overall, these characters are just too good. Yeah, yeah, that checks out. I still think so. And I think that is actually, like, that's literally everything that I've written down, and the rest is quotes. <laughs> so you can, you can see what I really cared about. That's Raven and Break. But I also really love the way that we were introduced to Vincent, and I cannot wait to see just what Vincent is really about. So, yeah, the quotes that I've written down are We don't know what will happen tomorrow, but no matter what happens, I will be beside you. I know the darkness that you have, and you too know of the weakness that I have. We are connected by a part of the shadow, not the light. Yeah, this is like a different translation that I have read here and a different translation that I read this time, so I remember now that I did read this quote out to you before. And I really, really love the quote, so... I just, I love shadows so much, I don't know why. Next quote. If you were to say a parent is the one who produces life, then is a parent the one who creates a reason for a living? Did I read that out to you? I'm not sure, but this is something that Alice asked Gil when they were like roaming around and yeah i remember being like huh like that's a very cool thought to have because like you come from your parents are your parents actually the ones that like give your life meaning you know or are you the one that gives the meaning you know like that's see i love things like that because those are the things that make you think they're like very philosophical i love that so much okay next quote the moment the person says they're working hard without thinking is the proof that they are still naive. So this is the one was differently translated in something that I've, in the one that I read like this time. And it was something like if I think that I'm working hard, then that means I need to work even harder. Or something of that sort. This is something that I cannot read unless I take this off. This is the last one. I can't believe a father would hate his child. Parents are supposed to be like Oscar, where just being near them makes you feel at ease. Yeah, this was, again, something that hit me this time around as well. I feel like a lot of these quotes line up because this, these are the things that I still really love reading about and that I still value when I read books and manga. And it's just things being very philosophical like things being not very black or white having to like really think and find your own answer to it it's, it's like pretty hard it's sometimes impossible to kind of like wrap your head around certain things and that's also something that i really really love so it's volume three we are moving on to volume four which i see that i've had an entire page for so we're gonna see how that goes and i will update you whenever i read volume 4 and whenever i have read volume 4 oh my god because this like what he said right here is such foreshadowing and it's crazy when i think about it like, it really is that this was a hint already. Wow. Just... Ugh. Also, I just adore Gilbert. Love him. I love Break so much as well. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy to be back in this world. Also, it's been a while since I've read. I've just been busy. So, yeah. An update like this <laughs> for now. Hello, everyone. It's a beautiful, beautiful day today. The skies are blue. It's super sunny and we love to see it. And for that very reason, and because I've done one of my homeworks yesterday, I thought that I would give myself a little bit of time to read. It really feels like spring recently and it just makes you feel alive and I love it so much. I'm gonna go ahead and 
finish the fourth volume of Pandora Hearts because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that I'll have the last chapter to read and then I can update you on my thoughts and everything like that. So there's that. This on my screen on my laptop is Emotional Release Meditation, where One Hour Handpan Music by Malte Martin. It's wonderful. Like I truly highly recommend. It's it's like if you listen to lo-fi, this is sort of like lo-fi. And it's just wonderful. This is apparently a 777 Hertz. I found it on Instagram thanks to my favorite account, the Mantra Co. Or rather Julia, who is the founder of the, the, the Mantra Co. But I woke up in the morning and I was like, wow. Like it just hit so good. And I just love it so much that I've been listening to it like yesterday, even when doing homework and stuff. And I'm gonna listen to it today, like all day as well. I'm gonna read Pandora Hearts. Look at this. Oh, there we go. Gilbert. <laughs> love it. Yeah, I've I've made some time to read yesterday and I'm making time to read today as well. Because it's important, you know? Volume 4. We have chapters 14 to 18 and this is the 18th. Yeah, so this is the last chapter in volume 4. And I'm gonna update you when I'm done with that, so... Can you hear the birds? Oh, I love it so much. Anyway, I'm gonna read now. To say this because I'm afraid I'm gonna forget later but I just want to say that the things that are happening in this right now in this volume seem to be happening so so fast like I don't remember the pacing of this being this fast because it sort of feels like you're getting to know so much of the story already but this is just the beginning like from what i remember <laughs> as well like i i don't remember this be like happening so fast but at the same time there is so much more that is going to happen this feels super super fast for some reason like we're already at this part like we are finding out this this and that and i was just like so shook we got to meet jack Vesalius already but there's like so much that is going to happen with jack still this is such huge foreshadowing because even the fact that like when you see him here right he's holding the clock and he basically looks like Oz right and just that alone is foreshadowing and it's so crazy how you can see that now rereading this versus when you were reading this for the first time and finding out everything like I, I think that's why rereading things is so much fun but yeah back to this shook i forgot that in this one a break actually shows his chain and also oh my god because break reminds me so much of gojo oh my goodness oh, i love him so much just love him so much and Matt hatter is just insane like love it it's kind of crazy because this entire scene there was like 
was talking about Alice and saying that she is like the sun to him which was very beautiful but then he also said that yeah Alice is the sort of rabbit that would die if she was alone again this was a hint for the later parts because like if you know you know if you don't then I'm not gonna tell you just yet you're gonna see it in like the vlog where that happens when I read it but crazy the foreshadowing like it's insane <laughs> I'm just so shook like I'm legitimately shook just how many things so early on were hints it's beautiful it's wonderful I love it and the rabbit thing like I can't get over it I cannot get over the fact that he said that thing about rabbits and us himself was alone and he hated being alone which is why he's so warped right now it's why he's like there but not really there and it's just so insane to me like it's crazy also the like the vincent situation like about him being like all about gilbert he's got like pathological thing going on for his own brother and like he he really thinks that he's the cause of all the misery that Gilbert went through even though Gilbert has like you know memory loss at this point but it's just it's so interesting because like for some reason I think I've said this before like Vincent was the hardest character for me to crack apart from Oz and I think the reason why Vincent was a character like that for me is because he was just like pathological he was like ill like it's the it's the trauma it's the fact that I guess he was a burden in a way as well and it's just there's just so much to that character that I have to like read about him in order to actually crack him because I've never done that before but this time around I really want to like figure the characters out and so far he didn't really have like a lot of Vincent just yet so the things that I've just told you are going to be more like apparent in the other volumes but let's see what I have here favorite quotes oh yeah this is a quote from Vincent actually I am thinking on whatever Gil's situation is ever since the Grimm's problem Gil's been wanting me to keep a secret although Pandora's case is important for me Gil's request is far more important as long as he requests I won't say a word and this is actually actually like what I had in mind when I was talking about Vincent just now because this is like just showing just how devoted he is to his brother uh, but it's it's a very pathological devotion he's messed up like there's there's a lot of messed up things about these characters even the good ones so I think that's why I actually really love Mochizuki's writing because these characters are like very morally great even if they're protagonists in the story though it might appear to be something unimportant to other people to him it is something very important who said that though i can't remember who even said that <laughs> um, i put that as a favorite quote is that my it's not my favorite quote anymore this is the last one yet yeah, this is about alice being the sun to me alice is as important as the sun her being like that seems dazzling to me. It also makes me feel bitter, but she's warm. I want to watch her. I want to be by her side and watch what will that light radiate into in the end. Which this is also a hint. And I think I've, I'm reading like a totally different translation this time. So this is the quote with this translation, which is very, very pretty. To me, Alice's existence is like the sun, I guess. She cries when she wants to, gets mad when she wants to, and is always true to her feelings. And I find that very dazzling. Sometimes that light of hers hurts my eyes, but it still warms me. I don't have any powers, so I probably can't be Alice's knight. But I'd like to see it through. I want to see what that light illuminates in the end from right next to her. Like, how beautiful is that? So beautiful. Love that so much and also the hatter i can't do this anymore i am just oh my god oh my god perfection anyway those are the quotes i've given this volume four stars 
I think I stand by that. Although I am like way more hype because I see so many hints this time around. I, th I think that four stars is like good. I also want to put it out there that at this point when I was reading this, I think I was just like figuring out how I want to rate things because before when I was reading books and stuff like that, I would never rate them. I didn't even have the apps and everything like that. If I liked something, I liked it and I would recommend it and stuff like that. Plots. Let's see. I love how the plot is expanding and where it's going. Yes, like obviously. But this is also like going back to the fact that like right now, I feel like the plot is actually super fast paced. And the first time around, I didn't feel that way. But this time around, like I truly feel like we've like it's only four volumes and we've gotten so many informations already and this isn't even quarter of the story really there's so much more to come that's going to be mind-blowing and way to know more about vincent he crazy but loyal to gil <laughs> yeah and jack yeah i remember i remember being very curious about this and like for a antagonist slash villain he's he's like so complex and so cool and Jack, yeah, he, he's just mental. That's all I'm gonna say. Adore Raven still and can't wait to see his chain and powers. Oh my god. Like, this girl doesn't know that when Raven shows up, it's, it's gonna be like a wild ride to her. <laughs> I remember saying that I want that volume and that chapter tattooed in my brain, okay? Like, I want that tattooed on my brain. And I still remember, like, the scene where Raven shows up and my deal is like, I am his left eye. <laughs> and I've already said this and I know that, but oh my god, I love this so much. And this girl didn't know just how hyped she would be about that. I love Sharon's chain and Break's chain too. Yeah, Sharon's chain showed up. I don't know if I've shown you that or not, but she's got like a black unicorn sort of thing and it's also shadows which is crazy because i love shadows you know i obviously loved her chain like right away because it's it's shadow it resides in someone's shadow for example she can send it and like it transports people and stuff like that it's it's crazy it's super super cool i just really love how much Yuzuki came up with all, all of these things like she's crazy for this thank you very much <laughs> thank you really like my favorite series ever i'm just i'm just getting like more set that this is truly really one of my favorite series it's just so good two more volumes in this video left i can't wait to see what's gonna happen next so i'm gonna stop yapping because this video is gonna be long anyway with all the updates and all of my hyping up and stuff like that and i'm gonna cut you whenever I'm reading volume 5 and whenever I'm ready to discuss volume 5. Also, how pretty are these nails? I love them so much. They're like super natural, but they have like these golden flecks. I just love them so much. Also, I just love having long nails. Like it's true what they say. Once you get long nails and you know how to function with them, because you allow yourself to like learn and stuff like that, they're just so good. Like they just look incredible. I love it so much. I love these. I want more nails. <laughs> but that's... Okay. Yeah, I need to go. Bye. Oh my god. So a thing happened, right? And I kind of, sort of, accidentally or whatever, <laughs> have finished volume 5 of Pandora already. Wow. Oh my god, I really wish that I was recording myself because I was freaking out. So many hints, so much foreshadowing. Just insane how many things click in my head. As much as I really don't want to compare, <laughs> I can't help but make this comparison where like Break really reminds me of Kodro and Gilbert reminds me of Megumi. Like, I just can't. And even the relation that Break has with Gilbert sort of reminds me of what, like, Gojo has with Megumi. And it's just... I swear I will shut up.
like you already know, that they remind me of those characters, that's fine, okay? There are just certain things that click now that I read this, now that I know Jujutsu Kaisen. But this isn't about that, this is about Pandora Heart. And so, I have read Volume 5, and oh my god, oh my god, like I am shook. I am so shook, because so many things are foreshadowing. So many things were hints already. And it's just, like, if you haven't read this, you don't know. But you're reading this again, and you see that from the very beginning, those were like crumbs. And Mochizuki is crazy for doing that. Like, what a genius. I love that so much. And it's the same with the case study of Vanitas, because I've read it, I've watched it, I've, like, rewatched it. I haven't really reread it, but I did look at some scenes like a few times, for example. But and it's just <sighs> Oh my god. <laughs> I am so deeply unwell. Oh my god. Okay. And we're gonna see what did I give this volume? Four star. I would bump it up for volume five. Like I would give it like a like like higher than four it's not a five star but it's definitely higher and it's a lot because of the hype because of break because i'm gonna show you in a second but he just looks so oh i love that character so much thoughts and quotes i love this so much it made me want to spit on you yeah <laughs> i remember that made me laugh that that's something that break has said to vincent i believe that in this translation it was like that it made me want to puke or something but it's just yeah oh yeah it's so touching it makes me want to puke that's another one it's just break chef's kiss i love him so much another one quote you don't have to keep in mind whatever these lame people are saying you don't have to keep those in mind and you don't have to be anyone's reincarnation yeah this is in the last chapter i actually read this and break was like so tell me what is your name and Oz was like, oh, like, cute, and I was like, Oz, Oz Vesalius. <laughs> and see, that's why I love Break so much, because he may be a little bit manipulative, like, morally great, you know, but he still, even though he wants to use Oz, he still, like, really cares for Oz. My thoughts, apparently. Love Break and his chain, and seeing more of his sides is awesome, complex. Totally agree. Still agree with this. Love his chain because his chain is the Mad Hatter. A lot of references to Alice in Wonderland here. The Mad Hatter was actually created to to destroy other chains. And Break was like, oh yeah, so Oz, like the powers of Bee Rabbit are the same as the Mad Hatter's. And that is a hint already. Like such a huge hint. You don't even realize at the point when you're reading this that this is such a huge hint, but it is. And it's like the fact that Oz could use the powers is also the biggest hint. Curious about Vincent and what's his deal? Yeah, obviously, especially after the ending. Adore the complexity of characters and how different they all are. Yeah, that's that's true. Even Oz is like, I feel like I can get Oz a little bit better this time as well, so that's really fun. Plot is just getting better, but also so much is unknown. Keeps you engaged easily. Definitely. Like, I feel, I feel like you can't just stop at this. I can't remember where the anime has ended, but I remember that after reading this, I knew that the anime stopped at, like, such a unfortunate point, because from where the anime had stopped, it would have gotten like so, so much crazier and I feel like it would have been pretty freaking popular and I really hope someone will pick up Pandora Hearts again to do it again as an anime because I would really love to see all of that animated again. I already know that I would find it like highly painful that I would have to wait so long for all 24 volumes to be animated but it will be so worth it. Like I can be... 60 years old and be watching Pandora Hearts and freaking out again. Really. So if someone out there wants to animate Pandora, please do it. <laughs> you know what's funny? That Jack said to Oz, like, only you can find the bee rabbit. 
because th this is going to be a huge spoiler so if you haven't read this and you don't want like spoilers just yet because this this is like spoilery in general but like you know if you don't want this spoiler for the end of the manga yet then mute me for a second because the bee rabbit is odd right and only you can find the bee rabbit as if like jack had told him that only you can find him because you are him like am i reading into this too much right now i feel like that's it so he saw the tragedy right that was crazy also the like gil's memories and stuff like that i remember the first time i was like huh <laughs> and like vincent it only just now clicked for me why he's like obsessed with dolls and like cutting them up because that's literally like i don't know I, I hope this is fine to show but like this this was him playing with human bodies and now he's like he up dolls still when he came out of the abyss he was still also cutting dolls and it, it's just yeah crazy yeah also like thinking that gil could be someone from 100 years ago as well because like you know they threw the entire capital sablier into the abyss so that was insane. Like, yeah, I love the realizations that Oz is having that, yeah, he's exactly the same. He was also in the abyss and he got out, you know? So, like, Gil is obviously the same. He also got out, you know? But what's crazy is, like, how, how it all connects later on. That, like, Vincent and Gilbert knew Alice and that they all knew Jack as well and, like, Glenn Baskerville and it's just... It's so insane. Yeah, and Gil not wanting to remember because it's just so painful what happened. And yeah, like Jack here, Jack is very manipulative. Like he's not one to be trusted. I remember that at first I was like, oh yeah, Jack, because he, he like seemed okay, but like, you know, very, very fast that he's not. But this what he said, the events of those hundred years ago left you and Alice with grave wounds that will never heal. And that's just hits so much. So the fact that like Oz found Alice unalive, right? By someone because she was murdered, but she was human up until then. How was that though? Was she the one like after being dropped in there that created the dimension? No, that couldn't be it. Oh, it was, I think it was her mother, wasn't it? Who like birthed Alice and then Alice was dropped in there. You see, the, the, this was me the, after the like first read it was very confusing <laughs> so i'm hoping that i'm gonna get this better this time how pretty break oh, amazing also this is the part that really reminded me of other characters from other manga <laughs> it's also the fact how alice always had a rabbit that was a huge hint and the fact that oz was saying the same things as the cheshire cat Cheshire cat? I don't know. I haven't seen Alice in Wonderland. I don't know how to how how like people would pronounce it. Cheshire cat, I guess. Also, that is a hint already. Gilbert used Raven, but we haven't seen Raven just yet. But I I'm like hype already about that. Again, it's the same than the Bee Rabbit's ability and that of this Mad Hatter. Also, this stop it with the Bee Rabbit's powers. I don't know how you're doing it in the first place, but yeah, we didn't know either until very very much later on and it was insane insanity and the fact that he wanted to destroy all of it oh my goodness she was scared and he wanted to protect her and in order to protect her he wanted to destroy everything that was making her scared the fact that it was herself that was scaring her meant that he was willing to kill her mental look at the killbird here he was like I love this so much. He slapped him to like get him out of it. And this, like, I love Gilbert's character so much. I love him so much. And I love the way that he's drawn. But also, like, Oz is so, so cute as well. Like, he's drawn so prettily. So prettily. Oh yeah, and this what he said here. I don't know what you were like when you were human. I do know what Alice is like now. But you've got a short temper, a bad habit of kicking people, and a foul mouth. But you're actually really nice and quick to cry 
And sometimes you're a total idiot and you're a pig like no one would believe. You're not Alice because you're human and you're not Alice because you're a chain. Your gestures, the way you think, your expressions, so that you can show us what it means to be Alice through each of those, we'll always be watching. So, Alice, you're fine just the way you are. And this is so true for everyone, I feel like. It's, it's those things that are creating us that make us who we are, but it's not just the fact that we're human that makes us us. Do you even understand what I mean? I feel like I don't understand what I mean. <laughs> yeah, but like it's it's those things that like add up to create who we are that make us us and it's not like we're not made us just because we're human. You know, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, that was cute. Oh yeah, and this, this, this was terrible. This was tragic. I will be so sad again. I will definitely cry. I already teared up a little bit when they saved Alice here. And like, she was crying as well. Just wow. This is very pretty colored, but also Vincent is such a psychopath and I feel very bad for Echo. Like when Break showed up, it was so, so cool. Like look at him being so cool. He's like the best. It was very sad also for the Cheshire Cat. This was a big parallel to what Oz had said as well. And that's also hinting. Then the Equus, e Equus? I can't remember how they called him, saved them the chain of Sharon's and they threw them at the Pandora headquarters. So that was fun. Rain, love Rain so much. He's a faith and his friendship with Xerxes is just... I'm so moved, I want to vomit. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. The fragrant perfume of black roses. I'd expect no less of those who, who give birth to darkness. The dynamic is very interesting because this is obviously from like a big dukedom and Brake is like lower in status than him. They obviously hate each other and stuff like that. And they have this little like ha 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 he 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 sort of like relation where they like joke around a little bit, but they are just mean to each other and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, I thank you for that bit of genius interior decorating in my quarters, Vincent Sama. Ah, did you find it to your liking? Fu 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 fu. And Ray was saying ha 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 ha. Well, of course, so much so I felt the bile rise in my gut. <laughs> What was like interesting is the fact that Oz was like super scared here after Jack took over his body. It sort of connects to something, I think. Oh, and the the thing there was like earlier in one of the chapters, there was a talk about how Cheshire Cat wanted a human form so badly in order to protect Alice that he manifested the form for himself. And that was the biggest hint ever. The biggest hint ever when it comes to Oz. He is my one and only friend. Like, if you've seen the other anime that I've been mentioning all the time, you know. Okay? Okay. Seeing on top is actually like Oz realizing that they didn't call out for Oz, they called out for Jack when he passed out. There was something more going on, I feel like, because like even though all, it was Oz who was standing in front of them, they all called out for Jack. And so that this person of Jack like meant a lot to both Alice and Gilbert. So anyway, Break showed up and like look at cute Oz here. So cute. How great does Break look? I'm just, oh my god! Stop it! This is so bad! <laughs> that is so bad! Oh, and this was like kind of cute. Just look at all. The drawing style in this manga is so, so pretty. I can't believe that it got even better as it went on. Oh, and this is it. Now answer me. What is your name? <laughs> oh. 
You don't need to worry about anything and you don't need to become anyone else. Like, how can you, like, not believe when Break tells you that, okay? Like, look at him. I don't care that he is manipulative and he uses people at this point. I really don't. <laughs> so there's that. That's volume 5. One more volume to go and this video will be done. Let me know if you want me to also read the light novels as well. I mean, reread the light novels because I've read them before and I've loved them a lot. I feel like they gave more insight into the characters and I feel like the characters were depicted very, very well as well. I will see you probably on another day when I'm done with volume 6 and done with part 1 of this video, which is crazy. Thank you for listening to my rambles for so long because this video is going to be annoyingly long. So yeah, I will see you soon. time by reading the series so far that I got emotional. Only the second time, only emotional. Haven't cried. Look at the bottom. Gil and Oscar. chapter 26 only left but this is something very cool that Elliot has said because Elliot and Leo have shown up again to other of my favorite characters and Elliot just says this thing because he compares us to the valet in a book called Holy Night and they are like from what he says they're like totally the same he wouldn't want others getting hurt for him you know, so he doesn't want others to fight for him because he doesn't want to shoulder the fact that people get hurt for him. And there's a lot of this kind of talk in here to help us like crack Oz's character. And I feel like this is a pretty weird thing to understand. To him, doesn't see value in other people protecting him and getting hurt for him. 
but he sees value in him protecting others and getting hurt himself. It's just so weird. But anyway, Elliot says the same. Not being scared of getting hurt doesn't count as strength. That kind of drivel is bubbled by people who don't have the resolve to shoulder anything at all. And that's basically about Oz, because Oz doesn't want to shoulder that kind of burden. He doesn't want to shoulder the fact that like people could get hurt for him. I feel like that's because of the way that he grew up. Like A lot of things definitely became twisted in his head. And also just the fact that he's not him. If you've read it, then you know. If you don't, then that's all you're gonna get for now. But yeah, I'm almost almost there with this volume so also i just adore elliot so much and i feel like i just he he grew on me so much and same with leo so yeah th there was like a lot of sad things there as well which is a shame but chapter 26 let's go As long as I can, basically, because you need coins at some point there in order to read. I finished volume 6, this is very fresh in my head right now, but I'm going to try and discuss with you because I have things to do. I'm sorry for the lighting, it's like, it's a little weird because it's very gloomy today and it's rainy and stuff. I give it a 4 star, I would stand by that. As much as I love Elliot and Leo, I would still just only give it a 4 star, I think. There were a lot of things that I really, really loved. I loved how we, like, got to understand Oz's character a little bit more. Like, his personality and stuff. Like, where everything stems from. I like the shift that you can see by the end of this volume taking place in him. Which Elliot is also pretty, pretty stoked about that as well. Let's see what my thoughts and quotes 
<laughs> faves were before because now I... Is there any... oh yeah there was a funny part where like Ada said that she's in love with someone and she was talking with Gilbert and it sort of looked as if she was in love with Gilbert and it really does look like that a little bit but later on you find out that like the reason she's looking at him like that is because she's in love with his brother Vincent. <laughs> Any other thoughts that I had when reading this? I didn't really... oh yeah. Because we started out this volume with breaks past a little bit and what happened with Sharon as well, which was very very cool. You could see that Echo was actually thinking for herself and going against Vincent, which was like super crazy, but Vincent is a psychopath to be honest with you. But that's also because he was warped when he was little. There's a lot there to uncover, but I don't want to talk about this just yet because that's gonna happen in later volumes, so we're gonna talk about that then. But I really enjoyed this. I did. And I can't wait for the next volumes because we are getting closer to one of my favorites, <laughs> which is volume 10. Like, I'm super excited. Thoughts and quotes. The things that exist now are the facts, so there's no need to understand the process of getting there. If this is his way of accepting everything, it might have a nice sound to it, but this is rather lonely, isn't it? The, that this thing was translated as, like, pretty sad, isn't it? This just really screams Oz. <laughs> it really does. Then, my thought. Oz bookworm. Hard. Hard. Oz bookworm. And who the heck is Elliot? I already know who Elliot is. Elliot is actually biological son of the night race and so that makes Gilbert and Vincent his adoptive brothers, which is pretty sick as well. And Leo, gosh, I love Leo so much. Same with Elliot, I just love them. The light novel actually made me love them even more. I love that Alice notices something is wrong with Oz. Yeah, yeah, I really... I feel like this time around I like Alice a little bit more than I did the first time around. Like, I don't know why there was always just something... I don't know why I'm like this with certain characters. I sometimes think if I'm maybe seeing like something from myself reflected in them, which is why I don't really like them that much. And that sounds a little bit weird. <laughs> And that would be a little bit strange, but I, I really, I really like Alice way more. And she actually reminds me of one of my friends a little bit. The school events were crazy. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Like, I feel like this time around it was just a little bit more comforting as well. really wish that I could just listen to the song, like the, the pocket watch song, the song that they played on the piano. Because I actually really loved it in the anime. So I sort of like wish that I could listen to that one when I'm reading those scenes, you know. Also, I'm very jealous. I wish I could play the piano. Quote, it's impossible to live without hurting others. This was something that Lottie said. Lottie is one of the Baskervilles. And I just agree. Because it is impossible. And I'm just glad that us kind of realized that at some point. That, like, in order to not hurt others like he really wants to, he needs to start caring for himself because that's something that he's been not doing. He thought that he was protecting others, so it wouldn't matter to them if he got hurt. Does that make sense to you as it does to me? I don't know if I can explain it correctly, but like he just thinks that if something happens to him, it's not gonna affect others because I feel like he just didn't realize that those people like, actually care for him so they are going to end up being hurt if he's hurt and there's another quote accept everything even if it's pain or sadness because there's nothing absolute in this world and then I skip over a few things and I wouldn't get hurt and it's all because of his dad it's all because he he was like an unwanted child but he just never got an explanation like why he was unwanted what was wrong with him that his father hated him so much and stuff like that and that really took a toll on him and it's very very sad can't imagine that it would have 
really warp the way that you see yourself in the world, how you see the world in general, and how you treat your relationships with other people as well. That's volume 6. And that concludes part 1 of this video. Thank you so much for watching part 1. I hope that you will stick around for part 2 coming whenever I read the next six volumes, hopefully soon enough. You can subscribe to my channel if you want to get notified whenever that's gonna go up. <sighs> yeah, I had so much fun and I'm going to have so much more fun figuring out every single aspect of this again. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Hope you had or are having the best day or night or whatever it is when you're watching. I'm gonna see you in my next video. and in the next part of this one.